Today I'm going to replace this clematis trellis. It's actually made up of several different pieces. They're different shapes. They're quite wiggly. They're not really attached well. So I'm going to take it all off and build a much better trellis. The other problem with a clematis like this is that clematis like to cling with their leaves, their petioles, and they'll wrap around something to hold on to. But those petioles aren't really long enough to get around this piece of wood. This one isn't too bad, but they don't really cling well on here. They actually want something thinner. And so I'm going to replace it with a better system for clematis. Here's another nice looking trellis, and it's one that a lot of people use for their clematis. The problem is these boards going across here, they're way too thick for a clematis. So although this is nice looking, it's kind of a pain to use because now you have to tie the plant to the trellis. I want a trellis where the plants grow up all on their own. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build that. It started to rain in the middle of my project, so I decided to finish it without the camera going. And I'll explain to you what I did. I've got three boards attached to the wall. One up there, one here, and one at the bottom. I then put in little eyelets and strung wires from one to the other. The wires are nice and thin, and that's perfect for a clematis to climb along. It may not be the prettiest trellis in the world, but it's very functional. These boards are attached to the concrete by drilling holes in the mortar. Don't drill them into the brick. You want to drill the holes right into the mortar so if something cracks, you're not cracking the brick. It's also easier to drill that than the brick. Two holes at either end of the board. I use drywall anchors. I tried some lead ones that are designed for walls, but they didn't really work very well. So I went to the drywall ones. Nice large size. Put in some screws. This is now attached fairly hard to the wall. The wood is pressure treated, should last for 15, 20 years. Project's done. It's actually really easy. 
Now my clematis are planted here because that's where the flower bed is, but I want them to go around the front of the house where they're going to get more light. So I've put some here, and I've also put a trellis here, and I'll just train them along the bottom to go up here. I want most of my flowers out here. That's where they'll get most of the sun, and that's where the plants will be happiest. Now it's just a matter of training the clematis up the trellis. I have two different kinds of clematis here. This is a type 2 clematis, and I expect it to flower early. That's why it's already so high. It started leafing out from the old stems. So I left most of the old stems, and I expect to see flowers in another month here. This one down here is a type 3 clematis, and it's going to bloom on new wood. So I cut that down to the base and let it start to regrow. So that one will give me a late summer flowering. This will give me an early summer flowering. One of the most confusing things about growing clematis is when should you prune them? There are different types of clematis that need to be pruned at different times. To help you with that, I've made several videos to show you when and how to prune clematis. And you can get to those with this link right here. Happy gardening.